The light is incredible and the sea just looks spectacular. So I'm back on the Isle of Mull and this time I'm staying on the southern part of the island which is just surrounded by nice beaches, cliffs and tons of wildlife, especially birds. So that's what I'm going to focus on in this video. I'm going to head down to a shore just south of here and do a little bit of a recce, recce trip. It's Kind of the weather is kind of up and down tonight. I think it's going to rain later. We're going to get a bit more clouds later in the day. So I think I'm going to head back out then for some photography. Uh, for now though, let's just take a drive and do a recce. See what's actually about that I can come back to photograph. And remember to stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll be announcing the competition winner from last month's uh, Tragopon Tetras backpack. So stay tuned for that and we'll find out who's going to win the bag. Alright, so we've arrived. This place is absolutely magical by the way. Just on the drive down here, I had a bunch of wimbrel just come into the field and land right next to the car. So, got a few photos of them, loads of uh, hooded crows as well coming down. There's just so much stuff here, it's unbelievable. And I'm going to make my way down to Ardalanish Bay. We'll head down there, scout it out and just have a look at the location. When would be a good time to come back, check out which, you know, which directions the sun is going to be at certain times of the day and where the species are hanging out, where the birds are actually hanging out, where I should focus my, my time on. But let's head down and stake the place out. The weather is just a bit crazy here. It's so windy and I was wearing t-shirt and shorts just a couple of days ago and now the wind here and the temperature has just dropped a bit so I'm more comfortable in a hat and warm clothes. Uh, that's just Scotland for you though. You can actually get all four seasons in one day. I'm just going to bring my bins, my camera, just in case I come across something interesting I want to take a photo of, and some gloves. Yeah, I'll bring my camera because I just don't know what I'm going to come across here. And I will just regret it so much if I see something cool and I can get a photo but I didn't get it. Hey, I heard you want to leave this place But we grew up this old town Just put it all behind Remember you and I would always find we tear flying along the fence line here. River's gonna cry when you're gone. Just some of the most amazing beaches in the world are found in places like this. It's cold, but it is amazing. I mean some of the some of the islands in Scotland out in the outer Hebrides here, Mall Sky just has the most spectacular coastlines. And they're just amazing to come to. So if you're into landscape photography or wildlife photography, it's, it all it all works here. What do we have down there then? Well, a bunch of gulls. Hopefully, there'll be more than that. Now, I'm going to try and walk a little bit in land here so not to scare away all the gulls and there's a couple of grey leggies over there as well and just not walk directly towards them anyways Would always shine when we 
sat there, you and I The river's gonna cry when you're gone, gone Love this place. So that was a flock of wimbrel just down on the rocks here on the shore and a ring plover just on the, on the sand. So I tried taking a few shots now but I couldn't get very close uh, before they got spooked. So but this, this looks perfect. This looks like a place I want to work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some camouflage clothing I was thinking I was going to try using the, um, the poncho, the Tragopon poncho, uh, waterproof poncho. It's supposed to be raining later today, it's supposed to be raining over the weekend. So that'll give me some protection from the rain and the elements while I'm lying down here. And it also camouflage me while I'm lying down here taking photos. So that's the plan. All right, it's starting to pour down rain here now. Uh, this is a little bit hard to do the vlog, but the light is incredible and the sea just looks spectacular. There's so many cool colors coming off it. And there's a few things around here. This, I've seen some oyster catchers, there's been a few gull, I've seen the ring plover fly down on the shore. So I'm gonna get my poncho on and see what I can do, see if I can get, get close to something. Okay. Let's try this again. Alright, I'm going to try this out very lightly first. I'm just going to go with my camera. And I have this waterproof camouflage cover on it. So that protects it from the elements and it also helps camouflage it a bit. Um, I'm just going to set my manual exposure here now. Alright. Then, we we'll go for a little wander, see what we can see.
I've been using this poncho now down on the shore, getting close to the ring plovers. This is quite cool. It's a nice way to get close to them, and it's also a good kind of cover to have because it's like you get sand and it's quite wet, so it's easy enough to just wash right off the poncho afterwards. And a little handy thing as well, turns into a little shelter. So these rings on the side here, you can see here we got a rope in it. So right now I've just tied it around to some rocks. I'll put her up along the sides of these bigger rocks here and make myself a little shelter. I can sit under here, have my lunch, some coffee. And that also works for, you know, if you're in a woodland or something like that, there's these little strings attached to the ends and the hood. You can use to tie it up to a little structure if you want to get out of the rain for a bit. So now on to what many of you guys have been waiting for. We're going to announce the competition winner, or we're going to pick the competition winner. Uh, I'm going to go get my laptop and we're going to use a software called the YouTube Comment Picker. So it's just going to be random. Uh, everybody who left a comment in the last video is um, has got a chance of winning the Tragopan Tetris Backpack version 3. So good luck to everyone again. Let me get my laptop and We'll see who wins. Alright, I figured I'd just do it outside because the light is much better here and it's just a bit cluttered in there. I'll share my screen with you guys so you guys can see who's uh, winning at this competition in real time. Alright, paste the URL in. Uh, next. Alright, here we go. Get the comments. We've got 30 people who can win yeah, with the chance to win. And uh, we're just going to start the random picker. Exciting. The winner is Chalgunar Klocksvik. So congratulations to you, Chal. Uh, we're going to send you a backpack. So please just, uh, if you head to our website, the Tragopod website, in the description below, you can find Jonathan's email address there. Send him an email and we'll get that sent out to you. Thank you everyone for participating in this competition. And if you didn't win this time, don't worry, stay, you know, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we come out with videos because we will have more competitions in the future. So thanks again for watching this video and we'll see you next month with a new one. Bye.